Now we'll start recording. Now I think line thirty sharp. Yes. Okay. Oh, that looks nice, Daisy. Okay. Um, so I start recording. Then we'll start class. Now record. Recording in progress. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, we we got some works uh, to to see. Let me show it. Okay. Uh, this is from. Uh, you can say your name, please. E com. Right. E com. E com. Yeah. Um, uh, said uh, he used uh, uh, did, uh, line, uh, soap, uh, can soap. Uh, I used liquid soap, and I didn't it. use the uh, single shin. I used a, a mixture, a, a kind of semi. Yeah, I, I, I'm very pleased. It worked that, a little uh, better. You, your, your, the shape of the needles, um, mountain uh, looks really good. It's hard to control to, to maintain that shape. Um, just uh, uh, reduce the soap, uh, so it will be less fussy, maybe. Uh, you're, you're about it, and keep all the uh, background as thin as possible, and you created the dark by overlapping, not by change the value. So you make a whole bowl of uh, the solution, or the mix, mm -hmm. of the, the is, color and the ink. Um, is the dark too dark? Because you did it uh, with different tonality or value instead of overlapping. So it's a different approach. You didn't overlap that much, right? You, you did it um, just like a I regular overlap. painting. Yeah. Yeah, the there's an the overlapping just... I see on the right side and in the front. But the yeah. entire painting should be done in, uh, entire background should be done in one single tone of value, a darkness, a lightness, I would say. Very light. I'll show you later. Yeah, I started with the dark, and then I did the no, light. No, 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 no dark. You, you, all, everything you should you should do is the lightest, and then just by overlapping or repeating some part, um, duplicate. You know, not duplicate. Uh, overlapping. You know what I mean? You cr right, created right. the depths. It's a elusive. It's it's not. Um, like realistic painting, it's decorative painting. You are too, uh, your painting is uh, just a con you know, like a conventional, uh, too realistic. Uh, I see the aerial <laughs> perspective. You, you, your reason is an aerial perspective, but uh, we, we're not in that alley the, today. You understand? If you look at the original painting, you'll see what I mean. Using single, it's a habit, single you know? <laughs> yeah, you have to change the concept, change the approach, change everything. To get that, but your painting is beautiful um, for its own sake, you know. Uh, if we don't, you know, compare to the sample so, painting, your, your painting is so, beautiful. I'll give you a five star just for for this painting without uh, oh, question. Thank you. Yeah. So the value should be similar rather than yeah. If you ask me how yeah. to get that effect, yes, yeah. yeah but okay. your your okay. approach is uh, is you you can you know you you can. Uh, uh, pattern it yourself. <laughs> no, no matter what you did, it's, it's yours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's move on okay. to next person. If anybody, uh, let me see. Uh, let me ping people. Um, I I think uh, Catherine, J has been. Um, it's that. Catherine Jasky. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Um, okay. I see the. You have good. Um, Value. That's what we talk. We're talking about. Uh, just keep keep the color and the ink the same. You know, don't, don't yeah. ch even change the hue. It, it should be done oh. in one single mix. No right. change. It should be a monochrome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah monochrome, and I had, monochrome, yeah. monochrome. Ink monochrome or a color. You know, a single single uh, value. Yeah. So right. just overlapping them. And uh, I see the. You have some kind of to uh, tonal change. Just right. reduce that. I did. Awesome. I put yeah, some don't, blue. <laughs> don't load the brush with uh, water. Just the pure. Okay. Uh, I'll show you. You can add water after the shape is made. You can create an aerial perspective by adding a little, uh, cheat a little bit, so, so to speak, uh -huh. to get that dark. I, 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 I was doing this uh, yesterday, and I have a quite success. I'll share it with you later. 
Okay, okay. that's the person. Um, yeah, I think that we'll concentrate on the, 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 the technical part, I mean, the, just the tricks. The, the composition is different story. You can always do it too, you know, without uh, uh, the, the, the special effect. So okay. let's move on. Uh, you can unmute yourself and the next person can unmute uh, herself or himself. So we're in speaker, speaker view. So whoever speaks should pop, right? Let me go to Barbara. I can I, I can ping Barbara. Okay, <coughs> Barbara. Uh, yeah, I see you. You have more a traditional approach, but it's nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's nice. I have I've seen the blotting effect. Uh, maybe you did it in two layers. If if uh... I sprayed it. Uh huh. Oh, you sprayed with yes. water. Spray water, uh, okay. Uh, spray water will, will, will make the, the edge a little fussy. Uh, you know, if you want to keep yeah. the edge clean, you, you should do it uh, wet and dry and uh, uh, let the wet pens to create the, the contour. So um, the lower part is, is interesting the, with the, the smearing, uh, smith seeking. Uh, what they call the seeping, seeping technique, right? I like Thank the you. iron pattern you created. I, I always <laughs> like that too. Yeah. I was dying to see what that would do. Yeah, yeah. Great. Um, so keep experimenting. Next uh, person, let me see who want to. Let me, let me see who's uh, holding. Okay. Uh, Emily. Emily have a beautiful one. I want to see. Uh, let me replace ping. Okay. Emily's uh, value is really light. nice. I like the transparency. It could be even lighter. Um, but uh, I think the, the, the middle mountain uh, is probably too high. Um, you, you got horizontal mm -hmm. landscape uh, conversation. This, this one or this yeah, one? Yeah, the, 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 the middle one. Yeah, the, the mount, the rounded, the, the mount, the mount, I mean, the rounded. Uh, this yeah, one. This should be lower, so that to create the contrast. This uh, this part should be downplayed, with if we emphasize on verticals. So uh, you know, basically, it's vertical mountain with uh, only the uh, horizontal <laughs> tree line. This this is something like a transitional. You know, it could be just the bottom of those uh, um, middle peaks. Understand? It could paint mm -hmm. the, the this triangle shape as base to support the needles that's yeah should to be integral part integral parts not just two different uh, kind of sh um, shapes i i do like the overlapping just uh, you know maybe the ink is a little muddy you can use fresh ink to keep it clean i think or um lighter just the uh, li lighter ink uh we still mm -hmm try to find out the translucency uh, i think the that's um you can i'll show you how to do that uh, to make it more trans, um, translucent okay what um what i wasn't happy about i really loved in the in the uh, models how the ink made that nice line yeah, 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 on yeah. The, i'll show you how to do that I, a bit but, I, I see that everybody has the same challenge here <laughs> I um I did some experimenting after the class though with different things uh -huh. and I I got some marks like here here was a mark that yeah, did yeah, that yeah. you got that that's exactly what it would yeah. need yeah but I was using something it's called sumifactant it's um it's a soap like um uh, oh. substance that you use in in paper marbling. Interesting. Yeah, in Chinese so paper marble, it's kind of it's kind of like photo flow that you use in um, developing uh, film. You know the old fashioned way. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. That, anyway, that that's what made this this mark. Yeah, and yeah. So I, I wanted to I, everybody some more will experience. find their secret. Uh, I I I have that uh, Amway uh, cleaner. That that one um, helped me to to get that effect. So um, you you have to test different amounts. Maybe just a little bit of this or that would do. You know. So 
it's it's all um in already in your home you just experiment <laughs> i think you to, you don't have to buy new things you just keep experimenting okay um who i got the chakron Ch let me can you make a uh, replace me okay um oh i like the dark the light the mountain uh, you do have some definition uh, uh, of the lines. Uh, the problem might be, you know, some uh, smearing outside the the contour. So that could be avoided by uh, some water control. So you can use. Uh, I realize that I have to use a stiff brush. Uh, it it loads less ink to do the mountain. It gives me more angular shape. Also, I'll show you a bit later. But uh, you're getting there. Very nice. I see. Uh, I keep the tone, uh, the the hue, the same uh, for all the mountains. So, uh, and yeah, so just the uh, uh, paint wet and dry will have more uh, definition. I think okay. the trees on the bottom, uh, no problem. You, uh, yeah, it could be a little. Uh, more integral, you know, just uh, more abstract, just just uh, to cut to to match the style. Okay, very good. Well done. Um, let me see. Anybody <coughs> else want to share? Uh, I do have a lot of um, uh, homework uh, submitted in the um, online. I already made a comment, so I will uh, not repeat those. Okay. Uh, if you interested in after class or before class uh, discussion, you can join the online class, which is a, um, re uh, a different part, a different class, but uh, kind of uh, overlapping a little bit here with uh, Zoom. Um, anyway, I'm going, I'm going to show you uh, this this piece I done I did uh, last night just before sleep. I got uh, some ideas that I tested. Just with the. Uh, Excuse leftover. me, I have, a, I have a question. Okay. Um, are we going to need just ink and different tones of ink for today? Um, basically, yes. Okay, just ink and different tones of black. Just water, water, yeah. Okay, um, thank you. Uh, you need a little bit uh, watercolor, maybe uh, primary colors like. Uh, when when blue transparent blue transparent yellow transparent uh, red that's all you need okay okay um let me uh okay I... okay here we go um you see my my table on the upper actually should it uh let me move it to this side okay this is my uh, water actually I, I just put leave it on this corner so it will not block the view okay this is the water supply i mean the the paint supply here to do i did this i didn't wash it i just want to share you know with you the real uh thing i the, the real um so i, I wish i could repeat this uh, I think it was done on treated paper. Uh, you can see the the the, the marks, pretty, and it's very clean. You know, very. I do ha have some uh, iron texture. I I think if you want to avoid that, you can use the dry, uh, hair bur a hair dryer. Let me put this away. Henry, can I ask a question? Yeah. Does the hair dryer help blow the ink to the edges? Uh, it could. Uh, if you have lots of ink, you, you can reduce the, the power just to use the slow I see. pan. Um, let, me, uh, let me put on a, uh, a painting here. Let's see if you can see that. It doesn't pop. Um, let me see. Okay, Here, here's the uh, a lotus by the same artist, Chen Jialing, um, with the same technique, uh, you know, the, 
the landscape technique. Okay, uh, we can do this one because uh, um, you know for the time being we don't have to worry about the the mountain uh, shape. So let's let's try this, and then let me share with you what I I did. After this painting, and another one, I think. Okay, I did this one after this. Um, not very successful, but uh, you can see. And I also tried a different approach I'll share with you, uh, suggested by Mr. Yang, if, if he's still here. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway. I don't have any more soapy, soapy paper. I didn't prepare any soapy paper for oh, today. Oh, you don't have to use uh, soapy paper. Let me oh, okay. uh, point, pinpoint my spotlight for everybody. Okay. <clears throat> you don't have to use the soapy paper. Just uh, use the soapy. Um, you don't have to do after me if you are not uh, prepared. Um, because uh, you probably just learn from my, my experience. Okay, just take notes. Yeah, take notes. I think Chen Yaling is more of a, a thinker, as he described himself, than painter. He think more than he paints. You understand? <coughs> He's not uh, taking chance. He, he try to uh, make it, make accidental into um, controlled uh, process. So you have to think a lot. If you know, if you purely try it on uh, based on luck, you won't get it. I think I got some stains here, so I hope not bother bother you. I try to get a corner with the cream. Okay, so this paper is not treated, not treated. Okay, the, let me. Sh you know, I try to explain the basic concept. How do you get that uh, puddle effect? So uh, I just use my my dishwasher, um, my my brush washer, brush washers uh, left over from last night. I did have a drop of uh, the um, cleaner, the hand soap kind of, you know, the all-purpose cleaner. In it, I think any any kind of uh, soap should do that. Um, this this sample painting has a little bit uh, uh, hint a tint of uh, blue, so I add a little bit, um, you know, same sand cello blue to it. But uh, if you just use ink, it should be fine. So um, I can test on a piece of paper. The darkness. Let me see. You could use a uh, rest of paper, but um, let's find it. Let me just take another another sheet. So we, we can use the, a test piece side by side. Um, let me see. I just test on this side. This is closer to my. So this is too light. Could be too too light. I think it changed overnight. It maybe think. I I'll add a little bit. Uh, ideally, I'll add fresh ink as I find fresh ink is is uh, more um, likely to produce the contour line of the shape. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You know, just a drop of that. I, I'll, I'll share with you the... So I'm not going to make... Uh, I'm not going to use palette in this case, uh, you know. Uh, I just use this bowl and I should have a... I'll use a soft brush to, as a spoon. Just uh, adding those uh, into the mix until I find uh, the uniform, uniform uh, color. Okay. 
and I'll do a test again. Okay, it's it's translucent, but it doesn't have the darkness yet, right? Uh, you're not supposed to see that. Uh, let me just show you this. And if you just put the clean water, after this uh, um, flat, this this stroke, original stroke, uh, extended to the... So you don't iron right away. I think I made this mistake. Let me... Let me see the... I think the color doesn't really look right. It's better, right? Okay, can you see that? Look at this. Let me zoom in. Let me see the. Okay. So you you wait a minute. It, you'll start to create the the line the line, and then um, my my uh, idea is don't set it to let it go so remember he's the four um forward processing go stop so you have to let it go to the to when you see the effect stop it won't happen under the iron you know the iron or our hair dryer just to is to keep to keep so if you don't see that you, you can still uh, manipulate it. So don't add moisture until it has uh, dried a little bit. So you have room. You add the moisture in the center, it will dry, it will drive the uh, same idea like you cream, uh, create the flame. So the, the ink will bleed to the margin. Uh, it's, a, it's a challenge that you keep the shape. And the idea is to do it in, in the right moment. So it doesn't smear to, to blur your, your shape. So this is a clean water, clean water, right? So I just add water. Maybe you can just do it like a, like a stroke. You don't have to do little by little. Um, see that drive. But if you add too much, it will start to, it, it will destroy the shape and make it uh, uh, fluffy. So that that's a... Um, uh, That's a challenge. Um, another thing I tried to control the shape a little better is to add a little peach sap. See, I've got a little peach sap here. Um, I add it, but not too much. Again, everything, if we overdo it, it will create a problem. You will not smear or you will not, you know, it, it doesn't, don't overdo that. Um, so let me just add a little bit. So we do another test. So let's let's try to do a, a shape. Maybe a little angular shape, like a square shape. Because it gives you a little more val uh, value. It, it smells less, maybe. Let's see. So I try to do a square. See if we, we can we can control the shape better with a little more um, with a little screw uh, peach sap glue. Um, if you don't have time, you know sometimes um, like uh, we we did the blotting, right? Blotting will take moisture away if, for the reason that you add something. If you, if you, you know, for no reason, you you, need, you should let it uh, act. Uh, you know, give it, give it a little more time to let the ink to um, do its work. If you if you blot, it will fix the process. Okay, let me let me just try to uh, add a little water to the center. So this will create luminosity see and you can you can use uh, I I try to do it with dryer a wet a damp brush instead of a very wet brush you can see this is the 
too much water, it would destroy the shape. Um, so it, it, this this water, and you can you can just uh, uh, let it smear in like uh, this is what uh, it does. It, it create a bleed in inside bleed, not to uh, drive the shape to expand the shape, but within the shape that create the. You know, you can just leave the brush for a while, for a, a, a second, let it... Uh... So Henry, that's the only water, right? Your... Yeah, water. You can, you can add if it's... Um, that's a very good question. <laughs> you could add a little bit, a, a little bit, whatever, um, soap, water. That will make it even lighter, but you know it depends on your purpose. You can wash it out with if it's too much, you'll make it completely white. We don't want that, right? We we want some uh, leftover, you know, some some uh, value still. So if the edge is the three, uh, we want one in the in the middle, maybe uh, not zero. If you use if you use detergent water, I think I maybe have some there. I'm sorry, I it, it might it might be too white. You see here, it's it's a little bit too white. I think. Anyway, if it's not enough, it it, it will not. Uh... So this is what I got the um, the edge. It's still it, it's still. Um, takes practice, right? But uh, it just give you some idea. So you do it in, in two, uh, two uh, steps instead of, and you can, you can uh, if you're more experienced, you can try to do it in one brush, but you know, you, like double load some, but uh, it's kind of hard to uh, do it with, without gradation. So um, if you, if you create a shape like with the the dark the dark in, in on the tip, maybe use the the bottom in the middle. I, I think maybe you know you do it uh, like you keep the light in it. That would be painting, not not really natural. I think. So um, I I I I think for the the rendering approach, not painting approach, you can you can try to render it. Even you know with some blur, blurry edge, which is good. You don't have to get one hundred percent, um, one hundred percent contour. You know there's some blurry here, some hard, some clear here. See that that's nice, right? So that let's do a lotus quickly. Um, the idea is to let it smear from the center. So the stroke that I'm doing is narrower. Than what I want, all right? And we do it in two applications. You can do a T shape or two Y shapes, uh, and then the vertical, vertical Y and the vertical uh, something like a uh, reversed E or something on the on the right side. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let me show you one. I can reload, of course, and you can you can combine. You know, by when it's still wet, you can you can combine without a without a watermark. The reason we treat the paper is to remove the watermark. Actually, not not treat this paper is not treated. I'm sorry. The reason I add soap to this liquid is to remove the watermark. If you do it without the um, the soap, you will create. You cannot combine two strokes. Basically, it will create a, a white line, a watermark between two strokes, right? So that's why we add a little bit of bubble. You see a little bubble here, bubble. I don't know how much. Don't hit. <laughs> it, it's. Um, it was maybe just a one uh, push when you wash your. It's it's too much. It's uh, it's much less than that. Like a one eye drop, I would say. 
So start from little. The less is, is more. The, the little, the better. Okay. So I, I'll do another, um, just almost like a repeating shape. Like, like I, I, I start to, to do on this side. You can roll the brush if you have some kind of resist that you, it's going to break the paper. You just roll it and roll it. Okay. And uh, he probably did it with a, a, he, a hecky brush, a flat, flat brush. Um, you don't have to use a flat brush. Okay, now <clears throat> you you can just leave it uh, for a while, let it just um, to expand, and then when when uh, when it's half dry, it's most effective when it's you know halfway dry. You can you can use a hair dryer. I have a small one, so I don't have to mute the sun. Oops. So I just dry the, the center area uh, a little bit. And now I'll put some water, some clean water. The reason I dry it is uh, to uh, give me some room. Otherwise it will expand, uh, you, you will expand too much. Okay, now um, let's do just the clean water. I think he probably didn't do it because I don't see two, two brush strokes. I, don't ask me what he did. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what he did. Okay, you can see my my hand on this side. So I'm gonna, I have one kind of uh, clean water. Okay, and just uh, uh, I think this this application doesn't have to be in one stroke. Uh, it could be could be like this because you just add water not adding any brush traces okay you just you, you can do this see you can you can leave the brush if you want you can leave the brush on the on the paper for a while just let it uh, bleed from the center which may, may be more effective than you than you paint it because uh, when you paint it it start to bleed too much you know so that 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 edge moves if you want to keep the the edge uh, the shape you just, just you just do the center and then let, let the time give it give it time let the water do the walking for you okay and I, I did this um, with almost like a repeating stroke that that creates the um, the fluffy the feathery edge. Um, so I, I, I more like this. And if you something, if you see something is happening, and um, and if you like, you can, you can try. You can, you can use uh, iron. Actually, I'll put a piece of paper on top because uh, uh, if you, if you, but sometimes this paper may create the, the texture. So I, uh, let me just use the smooth side facing, and I don't press that much. I realize if I press, uh, it might create more creases, right? Or maybe the opposite. Should I press more to avoid? <laughs> let's let's try it. which way works best. Maybe just uh, not too hard. Okay, whatever. 
I, I think the water drive the line too far, so it creates a double line. Um, I got some ink on the on the pad. That's not good. So uh, after the initial, I think I got some chemical happening here. Got nice salt effect. That's that's good. I like that. Um, so after this one is set, you can use hair dryer. I think hair dryer may be safer to avoid all the uh, accidents. Let me just. Uh, Sorry for the noise. Okay, um, this is to avoid um, to set it first before we uh, add another layer. I should zoom out so you can see the full thing, right? <coughs> okay. okay, so I, I'm using this same as this to overlap this. You see that original here? Okay, so I'm going to do the horizontal, or vertical, sorry. Just do a kind of a horizontal and vertical uh, stroke like uh, we did earlier. This is representing the, the shape of the, the lotus uh, leaf, you know, like uh, the umbrella. And uh, this one we change a little bit into a um, three stroke, like an E or some kind of letter. One in the middle, and one on the top. Oops, I like to keep that little white. This one overlaps all the way here. Mm -hmm. You should um, paint a little smaller than you expect, so give it uh, give room to expand. I already um, have a much you know, larger shape out than I want. Maybe I should add another stroke somewhere. Um, it's kind of hard to combine two strokes, even after just the initial one, you, you probably cannot really do that. With a, this is the nature of a rice paper, right? So um, it's kind of hard to, so you have to do one, one stroke in one stroke. Okay, that's, uh, um, you don't have to You know, if you already see some nice effect, it happens usually on the overlapping part easier. Uh, to the the second layer usually easier to create the edges, the line, the dark line. In this part, you see it's soft. So maybe I would help a little bit by adding a little water here, and that you know. The, the stroke doesn't help, maybe because I already have this, the shape from the stroke, so I, I need to, I, I want to manipulate 
the center a little bit. So I add a little moisture just uh, in the middle of the shape, the initial shape. And I can also just do that because the two layers are not going to blend. I'm not going to destroy the first layer anyway. So if you if you want to uh, the the white expand to the center, I mean from center to the edge, you don't you don't help by you don't move the brush away from the center. You just repeat gently, you know, where so it's not going to break the paper. Just add water in the center, you know, maybe ten times. Dry, you know, with a relatively dry brush, just repeat this. It will not create any brush trace, but it dry it drives the dark to the to the edge. That's what we want. You can have a little bit soap in the brush. Um, if it doesn't, I think water should should do already because we already have soap in in the original mix. So um, I'm going to do this. So you can see, I just add clean water in the center. You know, if it's too clean, it, it, will, it, it will make it uh, maybe too transparent. So that that's um, that's a, an artistic judgment you need to to make. If you want to have lighter, or I, I want to just experiment now. So just add the center. Repeat, repeat the center. Try to avoid any brush trace. Just clean brush in the center. You know, if you add a lot of water, uh, with a, with it might expand. So that's why I use a damp brush, um, wet brush, but not dripping brush. Okay, so I I can go slower. But Chen is has a spirit of a, like a, you know Liu Guosong we will talk about today uh, like a scientist. He experiments um, like a scientist, and he has. He, he, he can control his uh, uh, accidental effect. That's why he's a master in, the, in this uh, field. Everybody have luck, but uh, not everybody has control like him. So to avoid breaking the paper, just, uh, you know, you barely touch the paper with a soft brush. You just do that, okay? The dark is uh, is the you can remove you can remove the this, the penetrate uh, ink before you iron. You can you can do that. Otherwise, it will come back. Right? Do you have that experience? You got some dots. Sometimes it's nice with landscape. You create like a vegetation. Um, and sometimes we want it clean, so that's that's it. Right. I'm going to heat set it now. Oops, this this paper is too wet. So when it's wet, I I. Uh, don't use any pressure, just guiding on, on the paper. Let the heat just uh, work. Not any pressure at all. Yeah, there's a lot of bubbles with iron. So maybe um, it's a better choice to use a hair dryer. Uh, but you can see the, the concept uh, of a single monochrome monochrome painting with uh, overlapping. But since I used uh, uh, the water, so maybe the overlapping part is uh, 
you know, some of his uh, writing has that square. So if you want to keep that square darker than the, uh, like this part should be lighter. Right? I, I got some uh, dark, I think that's the illusion, the, the dark is under. The, see, this is already very, your pad should be clean if you want to see the color. This is already too white. I just realized I got some stain on, on, the, uh, on the pad. But, uh, you know, it's all lessons to, to learn. You cannot really have uh, a clean pad all the time, right? So sometimes uh, you have to um, see the truth without uh, being misled by those kind of things. All right. Um, the next trick uh, I learned from uh, Mr. Yang uh, is that he, he, he said he would use uh, something like this, a mesh, on top of uh, the paper. This is a uh, cooking tool for, for steamer. You put uh, on this uh, water steamer, you know, the, for, bun, for bun, steam buns, uh, they will not stick. So it's not very... Uh, idea because the water may not penetrate, you know, it will stay on top. So I will use some kind of uh, knock, some noise, I make some noise maybe uh, in the process. So just uh, not be scared if I do that. <laughs> so to, to knock it down. Okay, you can see the test I did here. Um, I don't have room for that part anymore. Maybe I just do a small uh, flower bud or something instead. So let me let me go to another painting. It has more stems uh, as a reference. Okay. Yeah, you can you can do something like that. Uh, I think this one has a lot of stems. Oops, I don't see the change. Wow. Let me just close it. I got too many windows open. I don't know which one is that. Oh, I closed it. Sorry. Okay, that's the one with. More, more stems. It's uh, um, let's just have fun. Okay, I'm going to use dark ink. I'll just use this brush with the dark ink. Very black. We want to contrast with the more. It's a flower and birth painting, but. Uh, um, I think many of you may be interested in learning anyway. Um, so that's, let's try just do a seven shaped stroke there. Oops, I think I got too much, too much already. It's, I, I sanded it uh, to remove the anti-stick um, function. <laughs> so now it's uh, kind of too much. Um, maybe I should reduce the the ink supply on this. So you, can, you can use a dry brush. Actually, you can just draw a line and then uh, I just like see that that's the dots. See the dots here. That's what I want. So you can. If not enough, you can add a little more and just keep it there. Okay, and then uh, let me do one more. Henry, can you use unsized the shun on the top layer? Yeah, yeah, but uh, it doesn't have that little round dots as you see. Uh, you can dot it, you can dot it with a thin paper. Yeah, that's the uh, that's a 
very likely uh, what he probably also did. Um, you can you can dot it on the top, so it's not a direct you know dot. You can dot it directly, but it will be more natural to have something in between. Okay. Um, Where can you get this steam paper? Oh, on Amazon, uh, Victoria. What's the name of it? I think it's very useful if you do Chinese. Uh, if you have steamer, uh, we used to have all the, you know. If you use frozen food and steam to heat it. You always stick on the metal. It's called silicone mat for steamer. Silicone mat for steamer on Amazon. Okay, silicone mat for steamer. For yeah. steamer. Thank you. It, if you. If you, you know, nowadays we always uh, buy uh, like frozen food, f food like uh, buns, uh, bowls, right? <laughs> Stuff to <laughs> steam bread. You, you steam it with this, it will not stick on, on the uh, steamer anymore. It's very good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to do just for, for fun. I, I, I don't need to consider what really. So I, I just draw like a regular painting, you know, just a have a line there and I just maybe add a little a little dots in the just like I dot those hairy thorn you know and then take a look. If it's not enough, um, I just knock it like this you can use the fingertips. Just rub it, you know. Like I don't know what the the, the, the word to use verb to use this knocking. Knocking, yeah. Knocking it, knocking it down. Or you can use your your side uh, palm. Just do it to uh, the, the whole line. You know, like like that. If not enough, you can repeat it a little bit. Um, you can you can dot it to one hole at a time. You know that will take some time. So just repeat a little bit. And, I try to go slow, so I have more control. See, I got that. Right. You know, it's not a painting anymore. It's it's a rendering, uh, making. And as in Liu Guo Song's words, um, Liu Guo Song, the artist uh, from Taiwan, uh, he has a um, a very um, Powerful statement like abandoning all the you know the brush works, brush uh, stroke and instead of uh, uh, using texture or other uh, lines. Uh, he 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 said uh, uh, the uh, artists should produce products like uh, uh, scientists. Uh, with the same spirit in the lab. Okay, so you, you experiment. So that's, that started the whole trend of uh, rendering effect like this. So th that's that's the uh, the line I got. And if you want, you can add a little uh, to this corner maybe. Let's see. I think uh, just a short line, something. Lead your eyes. The line gives you directions uh, in the in the composition. So I just oops, short line here. Yeah, I got it. And uh, I use clean brush. I, I find that the color on rice paper uh, bleeds more, the watercolor, than uh, Chinese color, actually. So, I just use regular watercolor here. 
this is the, the color I, I carry outside to paint when I do plein air. So I just uh, uh, add a little color. Let me just add the flower there. Yeah. See, uh, just let it bleed from the middle. Same, same idea to create the the water, the edge, and uh, even the smaller one here, just the one. That's it, I think. And you can make the the top one larger if you want. Um, if we had time. Just exhaust the the brush, basically. Okay. So uh, the same concept uh, and the same technique uh, with the landscape. So a lot of uh, landscape artists like to paint uh, lotus, maybe because the technique uh, and the abstraction uh, part is the same. Okay. Uh, so this uh, silicon mat, uh, <laughs> this is something new, right? Okay, now we, we have to switch to today's uh, agenda. That was so much fun, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> have fun, keep uh, doing that. Uh, by the way, next uh, time uh, we will learn the teacher uh, the mentor of uh, Chen, Chen Yaling's, uh, Chen Yaling's uh, teacher, uh, Lu Yan Sao, will go back to tradition, uh, but he has a unique personal style. Uh, and we can come back to Chen Yaling as well, <laughs> if we need. I, I will, you know, we have uh, nine, uh, eight classes uh, ahead. So every class will we'll review this the first one uh, until we get it, right? Just take your time. Okay, today we're going to um, study this artist, uh, uh, very experimental. He's the pioneer in uh, modern Chinese ink painting. Uh, his name is Liu Guosong. Let me, let me bring his uh, paintings up. Uh, my watercolor. Yeah, he created uh, a special paper uh, in the 1960s and started to do this kind of experiment on uh, ink painting. Um, he had several, several um, series. The early one is uh, uh, icy landscape and uh, space landscape. Okay. Um, let me, it, have you read the article I sent you before the class uh, in, um, last weekend? Do you, yes. know, do you recognize this picture? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was. It's very moving. That paragraph is written by me. Yes. Uh, the other I, I copied the, uh, from the <laughs> Google. I was really moved <laughs> by his story. Right. Because I didn't realize he was a war orphan uh, during the World War II. Uh, his father was killed by Japanese in the battlefield of Wuhan. You know Wuhan, right? Uh, and uh, he was uh, uh, raised by his mother. And uh, Huang Ping, maybe uh, you can talk about a little bit of your mother's uh, involvement in helping the war orphan. Yeah, that's uh, the orphanage. orphanage. My mother, yeah, they call the war care children orphanage, something like yeah, that. The, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the head uh, sponsor is uh, uh, President uh, Chiang Kai-shek, Madam Chiang Kai-shek, right? 
Yeah. So your mother worked with uh, Madame uh, Mamie, how to say it, his, uh, on his uh, uh, English name, Madame Chang uh, to uh, in raising the, helping the war often. Uh, yeah, he was one of them. And uh, he um, was 17 or in high school when uh, the communists took over mainland. Uh, he was in Nanjing, actually. Uh, then he left uh, Ch China mainland to Taiwan with his school, uh, all the, you know, with other um, leftover spring, you know, offsprings from the war. Um, so he, his mother remained in Wuhan um, after 1949. Uh, when China was reopened in 80s, uh, he, he was one of the earliest uh, Taiwanese uh, to visit the uh, mainland uh, to see the relatives in, on the mainland after almost 30 years of separation. My father didn't have uh, any chance to see his family again. Actually, my father was the only one left in mainland. And my grandfather, uh, grand grandparents, and uh, four other uh, uncles and aunt all went to Taiwan. Uh, after 1949, uh, before 1949. So uh, my aunt was uh, returned uh, to China from Thailand, actually, uh, with the uh, uncle. Uh, they are about the same age as uh, uh, Mr. Liu. Uh, they left in their, in their teen age to ta Taiwan. Um, so this is, a, this is a historical background. Uh, so when in Taiwan, he was uh, uh, enrolled in uh, Art school, uh, normal uh, university. I think under Huang Junbi at that, at that time uh, we studied, and uh, he uh, studied uh, Western painting in addition to Chinese painting. He already learned in mainland China, uh, and this painting was did as expression of his emotion, uh, missing his mother, uh, entitled uh, uh, "Where's uh, My Mom." So he would he would cry in the night uh, in the uh, outside the school. Um, anyway, uh, but he he's, he after he graduated he uh, he started a, a movement uh, called uh, the Fifth Month uh, the, the group. Yeah. And now he's uh, eighty nine. This. Pictures taken recently. He's still uh, working on the floor here. You see, in good health. He's he uh, wished he could paint until 100. In the same style, he he's keep doing. Uh, and we're going to study. Okay. And his his uh, work is uh, uh, basically trademarked by this kind of trademarks, uh, like the, the those uh, white lines depicting the the. Uh, the outer space, like uh, you know, see from the sky. So in the we, we are right in the in the age of you know uh, space traveling. In 1960s, he was inspired by the first landing of a human on the moon, right? I think actually he did that. He captured that moment with the uh, astronauts walking on the moon. I I, I didn't save that painting, but he, he has moon series uh, uh, inspired by the uh, that historical event and. Uh, uh, this is his most latest painting in the series of uh, ice, uh, icy, like a uh, uh, Himalaya mountain, I think. Yeah. And this is his early work, and that's what I did to try. <coughs> I think I tried to find that that piece I sent you uh, from a book. Uh, this one is called "Where's the Earth?" It's a, it's the space series, and he also has a series called. Uh, Oh, that, that's the, this. This one is the painting we're going to to. Uh, this one is what we're going to do. He's a, he has a picture standing by this painting in the first show of the fifth month um, group in nineteen sixties, nineteen sixty four. Okay, look at the, the painting behind him, and this is a. Uh, he was his representational work. This painting was collected by an um, American collector. Uh, 
he um, yeah that's his word is uh, usually the first painting is the best <laughs> you know he, this is his technique uh, he, he 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 doesn't like Chen Yali, you know he he would show people how to do this but you you don't have that paper he made uh, in the sixties still using uh, the same same buck you know. Uh, so it's two layered uh, with uh, some rough um, tree barks, mulberry tree barks in the middle, and then he will peel it off. This is, this hand is uh, his wife doing the work for him. Uh, so it peels off the this entire back side. He painted from the back. He painted from the back. So the the fiber, heavy fiber block ink to create the the white uh, texture. And he he considered the white lines in his uh, ink paintings. So he abandoned the traditional uh, brush uh, calligraphy you know, uh, lines. So it's very revolutionary. Okay, um, it's, and he also does does you know something similar uh, like seeping ink or smearing uh, blotting effect as uh, Chen Yanning. Uh, you know, like this, uh, this kind of uh, wet uh, blotting or uh, monotyping or something. I I use a plexiglass to to do that. So in in my uh, my college years, he had a tour in eighteen cities in in mainland. Uh, the top, you know, provincial gallery showed. Him. Uh, his paintings. Uh, I, I had the chance to see the originals of his uh, uh, work and was really impressed and started to do my own experiment with uh, crinkling paper uh, and uh, whatever we could, could get the, the texture, you know, crinkling paper, uh, uh, blotting on uh, glass, uh, crinkling paper oh, on. Uh, plexiglass or just glass. I don't have plexiglass at the time. Um, okay. Oh, I want to. Yeah, this is uh, the latest uh, uh, from the latest uh, documentary in that uh, video. How this uh, texture was created. Okay. Um, let me let me show a painting I did in the. Late eighties. When I come to this country, I still do this uh, experiment. Okay, see, this is the one I did in a class. Um, I I I poured ink on color on on the uh, a piece of plastic glass, and I wrinkled the paper uh, without flattening the paper. So some part is is like higher and some lower, right? And I I blot it with my uh, controlled you know, my palm. I'll show you a little bit later. So and then I added the dark with brush. Uh, this initial dark is there, um, and the sky was added. So it's probably thirty percent brush painting, uh, monotype monotype. Just single print uh, from that time. It's not exactly his approach, but you can see the concept of the white and dark yin and yang. He's a believer of Taoism, and his his paint, his composition is almost like a Tai Chi symbol. Think about Tai Chi symbol, the black and the white. When you when you copy his, okay. Um, let me go back to the representation of work. Then we'll try to do that. Maybe I'll do an abstract. This is called Moon Series. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe it's called uh, what is called Grass Style uh, Series. The Chao Shu Kuang Chao Kuang Chao, like a Zen Zen brush, Zen stroke, Zen stroke style. I'll, I'll call it. Yeah. Make sense? So that that's. Uh, Let's try this first. So I got some paper here. I, I tried on this. 
this is the mobile number two with a streaming fiber, particularly this number uh, 2B we have now stored is a thinner one. Uh, you can see um, if I paint on one side, the other side will reveal the texture, right? And I, I, have, a, I have a watercolor painting did this way. <laughs> I use this paper. I did a, a wash on the back side like that. And I mounted it on the regular watercolor paper. And then I added the flowers and my front door. These two trees uh, actually uh, is in, in, in our front, front door porch. Um, do you see the, the effect? How do you like it? <clears throat> uh, that's basically Liu Gosong's approach. You see his uh, white texture in the, in the brushwork. That, that's the idea. So on the on the front, uh, I mean the, the side you paint on is like this. And he will do his painting later on the on the other side. I don't know which one is the front and back. Let's say side A, side B. He, he will do it on the side B. This side A you paint on, and the side B is what you continue to finish. Okay, the concept is very simple. Unlike Chen Jianling's approach, uh, the technical part is very simple. It won't, you know, it won't uh, have much uh, risk or chances to take. Let me let me try this one first. <clears throat> I, I got that cypress tree uh, branches a uh, uh, leaf leaders here. So let's let's see what happens if we. Um, and I use this uh, water-based glue. I'm sure someone asked what I use. You could use the regular white glue. This one I got uh, from uh, our daughter Amy. What is a styro glue? Styro, styro, I don't know what this means. But it's water-based, non-toxic. Toxin it. so I it's for styrofoam. Styrofoam, styrofoam, right? For styrofoam, right? Styrofoam is uh, what form? I'm not familiar with that. But uh, styrofoam, form, for styrofoam. What's that? Anyway, am I making a misuse of this? I'm not sure. That's the stuff that the meat is put on in the at the baker at the meat shop in the grocery store. The meat is sitting on styrofoam. Oh, I don't know why the, what, why we have this at home. But this is from uh, her art class. I believe it's, it's probably for a printing class. I don't know what's used in, in the school, but we just got a whole bunch of this kind of uh, stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, let, me, let me use a soft brush. I just use pure ink pure ink, dark ink, and just, oops, it's, it, this, this paper is not uh, taking, let me see, okay, here we go, this paper is almost like a sized, I don't know, sized paper, yeah, it's semi size maybe, so I just paint on top of the, the branches, Maybe it's not blotting it, but I hope. Let me cut it off. So I got. I, I use a, a metal board underneath, so it's not going to stain my table. You can use plastic glass or piece of plastic uh, tabletop if you want. Um, it doesn't matter if it goes outside. You know, I try to get a. It doesn't work. I don't have the white lines, even I. I had that. So it's not part of because it's not part of the, the fabric. So it's not. It's not working. Let me just take it out. Oh, I do have traces on this side. Okay, that's good. I think that the glue. Uh, melt it uh, w with water because it's water-based. The the style styro glue 
styro glue uh, kind of uh, um, lose it when I got water. So that created the uh, icy, icy tree here. Can you, I mean, you cannot really see the contrast is too low. Let me let me put it on uh, against the light. You will see it. I just put a. Again, this is a gift from uh, Amy. My Christmas gift uh, several years ago. See, see the the, the tree create a little. You just let it dry, and we will we we'll come back to this. Okay. And then clean this. At, uh, at this point, I I just try, I just go with some uh, uh, effect. Um, we don't do any controlled composition in this style. I don't know if uh, Liu uh, also keep this open. I think. Uh, uh, at, at first, you know, you create uh, just some, some uh, like a marble, some, uh, marble stone, marble rock. You know, then you 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 crop it, you you make it into something uh, to finish. I think that's my approach. If you try to control everything in the beginning, then it's uh, you know become frustrating. Uh, so just have fun. So uh, in this case, I have. I have uh, the branches in between, and I just uh, paint on either side. I think let's just do in inside, and uh, I realize I have to use more ink. You can use a spray water to to um, to spray the dark to get uh, to kind of. Uh, Make an interesting uh, smearing effect, but I, I like the moonscape on the on the left. So let me just do it in a in a calligraphy Zen calligraphy way. I got no more ink here. Let me see. I just use the very common in the space. I think it's just common. You can use this lot of ink. This is relatively cheap and good to use permanent ink, sun ink. It's called sun ink. Black sun ink. Okay. I'll, I'll just come up. That and because it comes season season on the same as white on the side. I just try to cover all the branches but the kind of like zen. Like you're writing a curve curtain. And that could be the bottom in the image. And uh, I'm thinking to spray some water maybe on the other side. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't come through. So then it makes up a little bit by, by um, uh, guiding it. So you guide the water with moisture, you can uh, help to you can it, I think. Let's just do this. It's not blocking me. This is not exactly his papers, and we don't know what his uh, actual procedure that to uh, According to the documentary, he does uh, the first uh, initial effect on, on the 
on the back side, so you need to peel off the peel, peel off that layer and make it work properly. I'm going to get anything on this side, so I'm just to I just remove it. I think I need to remove this side instead. See if we can get to. Uh, I'll just remove the. Oops! I'm not getting any luck because the paper just got torn. Sorry for the mess. But you can see some nice effect there. Maybe we can use half page or something. I think the, the glue has to be wet to. Uh, So I just worked for this and it will help. The style of me is that we let that destroy my cover. Anyway, this, this will not work. Okay, come off now. I thought that the glue would serve as a, a mask, masking fluid, but not because this glue is water soluble glue, so that really does not create the lines. Maybe you, you use a different uh, glue with a better white. This is probably just to work on. So I, I would patch it probably. Um, so watch your always that uh, does this. If the uh, if the tree is dead, um, you know, with a uh, dead black, he'll he'll poke a hole like this and he'll he'll ask the mountain master who has a mountain ma master whatever you know, <laughs> This one will be probably and do the mounting for him. And then you can come back to finish uh, after that. So you, 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 you can you can mount and that paper will become sized, semi-sized actually after mounting. But this experiment is just show you uh, some ideas with the uh, fiber. So it will not work. I just uh, you learn from the laser, so you don't have to repeat this. Let me show you. Let show you this. And what works is uh, the plastic glass. We crinkling, crinkling, uh, crumble, crumble paper uh, to simulate the same effect, but without using this uh, special paper, without uh, doing any paper making, it's a different industry. Okay. Um, So this is a mulberry number four, you know, sort 
9 by 13, approximately 9 by 13. So we'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll make a plot like that. Okay. Let me just uh, show you a rough, rough thing. This is outside, but I, I just keep, keep track on that. Okay. Now I'm going to draw this in. So you are drawing. Yes. You're drawing on the glass. Yeah, I'm drawing on the glass. Like I paint on the glass, and you can. So we need to buy the glass. The plastic glass. Yeah. Plastic glass. It's a plastic glass. I I okay. sanded it. And you can okay. uh, you can find it in in um, Home Depot to to sell this kind of. And I I spray. This side a little bit to make it softer. Just clean water. Um, just to spray a little bit. Not too much. No better. Okay, now I, I, I kind of uh, I try to create some wrinkles. Wrinkle effect. You can control a little bit, but not too much. Right. And uh, the, the front um, side facing you, not the facing front. Okay, so the, the uh, side with the gold flags. Flex. Oh, sorry, I, I made a mistake already. So I should I could keep that out. So I, I brought it from the back. See, I, I use my finger to control how much ink I want. And I skip some between the fingers. That created uh, uh, some for, for the white. Mm. Mm. The challenge is if you use this side, it's kind of the uh, light. Mm. Probably you have to use paint to that. Mm. So just let's 
so I'm gonna try. If it doesn't work, I, I'll just do a mirror image. I'm sure that side is good enough. Okay, you do. You can maybe cheat a little bit by adding the dark without lifting it, you know, just thin it on. I think he has brush strokes, or maybe he has a you know, abandoned stroke. You see, he has brush strokes everywhere, so that's the. Uh, his theory sometimes you know, doesn't uh, really illustrate, and uh, his work doesn't illustrate his theory. You know, he, he, he still uses brush. brush approach because he has a trend uh, in classic, classic if you write painting. You see, if you like some idea, you know, like it's here, I, I see a beautiful uh, rock, I just leave it. So don't destroy anything good because of the, it's not easy, I mean, it's not possible to copy the original painting. Um, so you, if you have your, you have your accent, just uh, keep it. Okay. And uh, this one, um, he, he has this concept of dark uh, shadow, you know, like the side. The, I see the light coming from the left. Um, I see the cast kind of shadow. This is the side. This is the side. This is the shade side. Also, I'm saying consider more like yin and yang in traditional landscape. Just the contrast. And some uh, cube kind of shape. And it's an icy landscape. And I'm probably you can lift it and paint from you know, the other side. It's, uh, it's more coherent. Some kind of uh, square abstract uh, cube kind of idea creates some mod mod modern feel of the cubism or you know, the abstract abstract art. And you can use uh, uh, just the clean water to guide the, the ink, just blur the ink a little bit, and create this kind of uh, sun. Text 
Celestial, like with Isaac, uh, like Christ, uh, Christ, no, Christ, no, what's called it? Glacier, Glacier. Okay. And then you, you let it dry, then you wash uh, more with the light. I don't see that any color, but you also use uh, some lunar color or, or indigo to or, or bronze something to add it to. So basically, it's just the black and the gray. And this could be dark. And this is the size like a cube. So you, you have to sex uh, to sacrifice, sacrifice some uh, nice stroke to earn mm -hmm. to say that uh, cut you know, concentrate on the whole the wholeness the wholeness of uh, of it. So there's some details on this side. I think that it's created from the, the fiber, but I just see that that was some stroke. And crinkled paper without you know, paint too much, you just, just kind of rub it gently on top to create that kind of texture. It's actually using the fiber and the paper in a kind of complex process. So that creates some kind of feel. You know. I want to keep it you know, the contrast um, the dot to you know there's too much white here. I want to kind of um, consolidate some. Illuminate some so the contrast is a simple and strong. But there's variety also in the unity. Always. You, you, you don't have to copy it exactly, but you get the concept. Dark begins the light. The yin and yang doesn't really concern with uh, the lighting. Of uh, uh, like you know, because the one uh, he was on the mountain, he, he says sometimes the mountain is shiny and white, and sometimes and suddenly there's cloud come and then it turns everything gray and then uh, cloudy. So um, it's so dramatic, uh, different uh, every moment. So he tried to capture that kind of the changing light. Diagonal, that's this way from the imaginative uh, light source. So if we put some uh, light, I think it might help. The um, I'm not sure about. Oops, I have some dark skies. But that's good. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good. Cheers. But I was thinking to dive in this sky maybe to, to show the white. And it's, uh, otherwise, it's the white doesn't really show. And, um, to avoid the blur, you, you, if you want to keep some hard, hard uh, shapes in the background, you, you can dry it. But uh, since it's background, I can just soften it. Something that was in the water. Okay. Um, I think I, I have to re uh, li lift it to so more I can. You could dry it with iron, but uh, I think iron will create more. 
it's just if you want to, uh, the way it is, you can use like a clear drive. And, um, you know, just, you just remove this. Generally, this should, this should be lighter, right? So how can you make it lighter? You can um, lift it a little bit, maybe. Um, I put uh, two layers, uh, one layer behind, one layer on top. And before it gets dry, you block it. No way, you would be lighter. I hope. And you just block a little bit away from the also on the, on the bottom. So, so that that makes this a little lighter than that. Hopefully, this one also needed to block it. If you want, you, you can use the. Uh, Water after this dry a little bit before it completely completely dry. You can you can add some water in there, but don't overdo it because it uh, might too light. It will turn lighter after dry uh, after month after dries, but it will come back after the month. It takes experience to to see the true color, the true value, true value. White back, maybe you can add a little detergent water that will create some white. Okay. It's not detergent water, just like a dark light you can use to create the various contests. Let me just try it again. That works. I don't use any white. is too hard. You want to soften it to the same point, brush, not, not too wet. Just the edge. Oops, I think it's already set with the iron. Uh, as, actually, even if it's already dried, if you use a little detergent, you may still lighten it. Believe it or not. Because the detergent can uh, dissolve the, the ink and it's uh, maybe start to dry. And when, when you want to try to lighten it, put a piece of dry paper under it. That, that is blocked from the back. 
another piece blood from the, uh, the front. Okay, like that. So this will write in the ink in the line. And then you also set set it. You know, sometimes when you don't want the edge, it, it appears. When you want it, it doesn't. <laughs> So you want to bring now uh, outside in, right? So you can add a lot of water in the, in the snow area, in the ice area, and just let it uh, invade in the, the um, dark area. Expand from outside, I mean from outside. In. But water actually, in this case, preserve the white. Preserve the white from the so it will drive it back. It will drive it back mm -hmm. to its base. And you can move it to where you want. So that will help to reduce the if you grab it from the front. So this kind of experiment really helps you to understand the behavior of the paper, the medium, uh, the ink, water. So maybe uh, when you think it's traditional, you will feel more comfortable because you already um, made friends with your, your medium. Right? So you know, that, that helps to reduce the, the ink. Put a piece of paper under it. And then uh, the top, when you clean it, just on top, and you can iron it. Iron is a really um, you can pinpoint, you know, that's the, the idea. You can pinpoint, and you see that the iron creates some point. It's interesting, the steam. It's interesting. So you can paint with iron. The other day, I did uh, a watercolor thing with iron on um, rice paper. It really helps. Um, I can show you that. Yes, Henry. Could we see inside the book, please? Pardon? Uh, could, could we see, see inside the book? Yeah. Oh, I have. I don't have this copy. It's uh, oh. by. Uh, it's provided by a student in my regular class. Uh, his, uh, her name is uh, Linda Ann Grace. Thank you, Linda, for sharing that. Uh, oh, okay. You probably you can get a hold of this uh, book on Amazon. This book. She, she has this book, um, not, not just him, uh, not just his, you know, it's uh, 
the characters uh, uh, exhibition catalog, uh, <coughs> Zhu Jin, yeah, that's the very famous culinary uh, art collector in the States. And this one was traveled back to Taiwan uh, this year, early this year, to celebrate the uh, artist's uh, uh, retrospective. I don't know how, how many retrospective. But this one is a rep very representational work of his, of his he travels back to Gaussian in his hometown to, to show in Taiwan this year. It was, it, this one is in the States, I think, in this private collection of the family of this um, Anyway, I, I didn't get exactly, but it's uh, maybe uh, enough to, to show, to, to, to show you know, what we could do with uh, this. It has, uh, when you deal with edges, like a hard, soft, near the end of the uh, the hand. So, just the... Uh, it takes uh, uh, much more time to finish the last 5 to 10 percent, and that makes the thing uh, and messages are amateur. <laughs> Everybody can do the initial plotting, I think. Yeah. <laughs> is that? Um, we have about 10 minutes. I, I have another piece to show you. Maybe it probably goes here. Let me take this one and show you this one. See if we can do more times. Well, this is the first. Uh, uh, the tree, the cyclist tree one. It didn't create to do quite lines, unfortunately. But this shape is interesting, you know. Um, you can make it into a space escape by maybe putting a moon there and make a horizon, curve the horizon or something. You know, you can maybe make it uh, something like a uh, ocean scene from space. Well, you know, just think about it. Um, those are uh, satellite view of Earth's uh, universe. And you can use it to use this one. So, you know, so blocking uh, or painting on the back side and then on the front side. Um, yeah. You can also use this for other things, like uh, I have a uh, uh, branch I did a uh, class on, on Bamboo in the library class on, on Tuesday. And this was the this was fresh I showed them the Bamboo. Now uh, I got the it. I didn't use any glue this time. I used the just the tape, scotch tape. It's too tight. Mm. And then we make holes again. Mm. It's too tight. Yeah, I don't want to worry about the holes. I mean, you, 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 can, uh, you can fix it when you mount. Better we drop that. No, no. Okay, I can fix it. It's too much. Okay. So you can see the uh, solar weight of the, the um, branch. It could be in some other trees. That's the idea, you know, you use uh, botanic elements in, in the paper to create uh, uh, some natural effect, inspired by Nicholson's uh, special paper. Okay, so that is not like a winter plant. I 
is the cause something like that. Yeah, we can use the uh, uh, water resist, like the, the white, um, white ink. We have a transparency white. And you can use Arlen uh, to, to block, to create a mask. Sometimes you, you, you want to turn the paper, in the front of the paper, see if the back side is the front, it, it looks better. Uh, then you know <laughs> which side you prefer. This is the front side, but we brought it from this side. And we really got more texture here. And it's interesting to, to see. Uh, also, it's good to see from the back uh, when you got tired. Um, after 40 minutes of uh, doing it on, on the front, you, you, you need to fresh your, your, your eye, your mind, by flipping it and then uh, to have a fresh look and of what needs to be done. So I still like the front better. Yeah, it's really interesting. So they're not the same energy, I see. Although the texture is a little different. But I think the composition. It's better this way. It's the original. Uh, let me try, just try it uh, uh, before I sign it. And we'll show you how to write the comment message. Uh, we have five minutes. Okay. Okay. We protect the top. Oh, uh, well, I didn't try this uh, look, but um, I think we might not. It's, it's not going to work as exactly, but that's the idea I was thinking to, to do. I'll, 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 I'll do that maybe, just to finish this. Um, you can flat the paper, the crinkled paper, by onion, or just the water, you know, you wet the coat, spread the coat, and let it dry. Uh, and you flatten it. And you the, naturally, you need to mount it. You need to mount it to remove the wrinkles. That's why if you remove the, um, the heavy f uh, fibers or the uh, texture uh, after you paint the back, because otherwise it cannot be rolled. He's painting uh, a traveler in, in all the elements of the movies. They are all on the scrolls, I mean, they're clear. So that it could be easily carried uh, transport. Okay. Um, this is dry, so I need to write it. I think this is the area inside. In contemporary art, you will really try to keep the signature title minimal. And then, in this case, I think it is a little something. Uh, I'll, I'll just write a uh, attribute line. It's smaller, it is maybe this blue color. I just use a big brush. But, uh, this is my go to brush. You can write a little focus. The large brush actually helps to uh, last longer. You don't have to do that. Right the sense of uh, space, space scape, space, space scape. Blue, of course, I went to the traditional was in Taiwan. He was born in Anhui province, but he's a uh, Hong Kong, ancestral Hong Kong, so Shandong, the northeast, the uh, north, not north, uh, east coast. Judging and uh, Lucasin, homage to Lucasin. And we have a box. I put it in the art, and this is a according to the holiday season. That's I'm 
Would you zoom in on your calligraphy? I missed the class. But this was a demo I'm very pleased. And uh, I, this is my first time after him. I'm sure I'll do more. You know. So it's the start. He, he really started us to, to do this kind of things in, in, in China. To the, the, the uh, opening, the opening of the China to the to the west, to the west of the world. Uh, it's a happy ending. I did, I did see his uh, mother's picture uh, in Wuhan uh, with him. And I think he he, he uh, did see his mother in the eighties. He had a traveling show. And he's still very popular in China as a teacher and an exhibition artist. Uh, grass style landscape, 
I still have to decide which one is the front. Which one is the front? Help me. Think about the front. Let's this one will need more work, but it will, it's just like an initial markup. This one is it's almost like the finished thing. And uh, when I decide, I will need to decide whether it's uh, horizontal or vertical. Thank you. Aloha. Yeah, uh, Henry, I had one question for you. Did, did you ever try a material other than sanded uh, plywood? I mean, uh, sanded uh, plexiglass for um, yeah, transfer? Uh, originally, I used glass. I don't have plexiglass. And it's not sanded. Uh, I think uh, in not sanded, you use glass. Yeah, glass and sanded. Yeah, I don't have plexiglass. Uh, like an etched glass? Yeah, it's like yeah. bathroom glass. I don't know what to call it. The uh, rough kind of surface. Um, you can use uh, you can use, uh, use a uh, piece of uh, block paper. You like this wrapping paper. Uh, you can even crinkle that and put it in on that. But you can use plastic. Like I said in the beginning, you can use plastic instead of this metal sheet to protect that paper. And also, the plastic tabletop creates the texture for you. Okay. Um, Thank you. So, yeah, you put the ink on, on, the, on, the, on the table class and then you block it. I think that's a more approachable, right? It's too sharp there. I'm trying to make it a natural. Okay, I'm going to sign this one as well. Um, uh, this one I'll just sign. Uh, own, um, it's not a copy, it's inspired by it, but not a writing copy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, thank you, Henry. It's very Henry. interesting. Thank you. Thank it's you. interesting. Recording stop. Mine was in mine. Oh, yeah. Mine was in mine. Let me start. Let me stop. Stop it. Stop it. 